we're going to be palpating extensor indices. So the extensor indices is the lowest muscle on the posterior forearm or distal muscle. Its origin is going to be on the distal posterior ulna as well as the interosseous membrane. So one of the things I can use is identifying the head of the ulna here and then palpating just proximal to that and sinking in. I'm going to have you make a fist, but then just do extension of your second digit for me. Good. I'm just going to place my fingers over top of this muscle belly and you should easily be able to feel it going up and down. Now what you want to make sure is that you're not getting confused with extensor digitorum. So I'm going to leave my fingers here, but now I'm going to ask you to move all of them. So extensor digitorum's muscle belly will be found in the more the proximal forearm. And let's go back to just the index, but extensor indices is going to be in the distal posterior. So you should notice the difference between those two. Now this tendon is going to be deep to extensor digitorum and the other muscles in this area. So the tendon goes underneath and it's fairly challenging to find. So we're not really gonna be able to distinguish it in comparison to the ones that are crossing over it. But if we notice right here, she holds her finger up in the air, you can actually see a bit of a tendon pull change. So I'm gonna repeat that a couple times. So right in this area, this tendon is getting pulled over on an oblique angle in comparison to the digitorum tendons, which are going straight back. Which is why we have this hand in a fist right now, is to lengthen all the extensor digitorum tendons and focus primarily just on indices. I'm gonna have her hold her finger up and hold in this position. So as we get into the hand, I'm gonna cross fiber this tendon. It blends with extensor digitorum, and therefore it's going to be inserting, just like digitorum, onto the middle and distal phalanx of this second finger. So, and that is via what we call the dorsal digital expansion. So it is doing extension of the metacarpophalangeal joint, the proximal and then distal interphalangeal joints, plus it has some weak extension at our wrist joint. As per all the muscles on this extensor surface, they are all innervated by the radial nerve.